Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cook with me. Well, today I'm doing the introduction in the craft room and then I will take you to the kitchen and we're going to put together some Newfoundland date squares. Now this is different than most of the recipes I put up. It is a little bit labor intensive. Not difficult, but there's a lot of different little steps and a lot of ingredients. So it is something you can watch and if you choose to make it, the recipe will be uh, up with the video. Uh, right now it is in the oven, so I'm in here doing the introduction. <laughs> And I'm going to try to do a taste test. Don't know if I can actually do that today because they do need to cool substantially before you can even cut them. If I cannot get a taste test today, I'll do a little short video and put it up on the community tab and do a taste test for you as soon as I can get them cool enough to cut. I've never made these before. Some things don't look quite like I expected them to, but we're going to see. And if you don't see this video, you will see the video. But you may not see the taste test if they don't come out right. But in the meantime, I hope you have a great day and enjoy this video. Enjoy the Newfoundland date squares. It's a staple of the country, of, of the province, I'm sorry, of Newfoundland, Canada. So I will see you in a little while when the date squares come out of the oven. Back in a bit. Okay, now I have a pan on the stove. It has two cups of water in it and three tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to cut up the dates that will go into this water. And we're going to use this to make the filling. Now I'm putting a tablespoon and a half of vanilla in here. It calls for a lot of vanilla. And then I'm just going to take you over and show you how I cut the dates up. They're just, they're already pitted, but they were not chopped already. So let's wait and see if we can just get these chopped up and in the pan. I forgot I'm adding three tablespoons of sugar and then I will chop up the dates. Okay, now there's the dates over here and I was surprised that they were not that difficult to cut. I expected them to be so sticky as some dates have been in the past that it would be difficult for me to chop them. But they chopped very nicely and had no problem whatsoever. And I'm going to just chop up this whole group of dates here and get them in the oven. And in the oven, in the pan, so we can begin to make the date filling. It takes about two and a quarter cups of the dates. And I probably have a little bit more than that, but I was going to get nice, I wanted to get a nice uh, thick filling. And I think I showed you the package of the dates. And then I got those at Walmart. It was a Walmart brand, I believe. I'm not sure. Okay. Just about there. Now we'll move back over and show you what the pot looks like. Now this boils for quite a while. I think probably about 15 minutes or so anyway. And you stir it every so often. And then when it gets almost ready, you have to be careful because it will burn quickly. So you want to bring it to a boil. Let me turn it around so I can hold on to the handle. You want to stir it around, bring it to a boil, and let it reduce and get rid of most of the liquid. And you can see it's almost up to the boil here. And then I'm going to just let it go for about 20 minutes, I think it took me, to get that done correctly. 
So here we go on to the next video part. Now you can see it is boiling and it has begun to reduce. I actually used my immersion blender at the very end of this because I didn't think it was reducing and thickening as much as I wanted it to. And meanwhile, I'm going to get the topping ready. In that bowl, I have two cups of flour, one cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, a cup of unsweetened coconut, dried coconut flakes, and I'm going to add rolled oats, but after I get the rest of it mixed, because I don't want to make a oat flour, I want them to stay as rolled oats. But the thing you have to remember with this now is this is going to take one and a half cups of butter. That's a lot of butter. So I'm going to cut that up and I'm going to get this part all um, mixed together. Now you can do this with your hands, but I have the food processor, so I said, why not? And I'm just going to pulse it, and you can see it's beginning to separate and look like it is mixed together, okay? So we'll get that mixed, and then I'm going to add two cups of the oatmeal. Now, I did not have the regular oatmeal. I only had instant, so it's not as big a flake of oatmeal as it could be but I think it would come out just fine so now we'll just zap it a few more times and get the oatmeal just mixed in it doesn't take much at all to get the oatmeal mixed in and you can see that's just about there now now I'm taking it over to the pan and I didn't get the beginning of the recording but I have a pan that has been sprayed and has parchment paper, 9 by 13. I put half of that into the pan and pressed it down. Then poured all of my date filling on top. And now I'm taking the other half and sort of breaking it up with my fingers and putting it all over the um, filling. Now, there's quite a bit of crunch here so there's plenty to go around and once I've got that spread out there I'm going to push it down into the dates and we'll get the topping see it all pushed down nicely and then when it goes in the oven it sort of melts together and creates the nice topping. Now this is going in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes and I actually did take it out at 40 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like right out of the oven. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, just, just, just out of the oven. So about two days from now, I ought to be able to get a taste test. I'm going to put it on a rack and see if I can get it to cool. But it sure does look delicious. So I will bring you back. Um, if I don't get the taste test today, I'll make a short video for you and put it on the community tab where you'll see the taste test. In the meantime, give me a thumbs up for this recipe. It looks like it's going to be a goodie. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that like button and share the video. And we will see you on Wednesday for a bundled wreath. Until then, everybody have a great afternoon or an evening or morning. Stay warm, stay dry, stay cool, whatever it is you need. And I'll see you Wednesday. Until then, 